Good morning, friends. It's good to be with you again. Well, I was thinking about today's message, and this Sunday we might be talking about the road to Emmaus, a story that is found in the Gospel of Luke. So I thought maybe we could read it together and discuss it for a bit. So let's begin. Luke chapter 24. Now on that same day, two of them were going to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem, and talking with each other about all the things that had happened. While they were talking and discussing, Jesus himself came near and went with them, but their eyes were kept from recognizing him. And he said to them, What are you discussing with each other while you walk along? They stood still, looking sad. Then one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answered him, Are you the only stranger in Jerusalem who does not know the things that have taken place in these days? He asked them, What things? They replied, The things about Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and leaders handed him over to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one to redeem Israel. Yes, and besides all this, it is now the third day since they, th since these things took place. Moreover, some women and our group astounded us. They were at the tomb early this morning, and when they did not find his body there, they came back and told us that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. Some of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said, but they did not see him. Then he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are and how slow of heart to believe all that the prophets had declared. Was it not necessary that the Messiah should suffer these things and then enter into his glory? Then beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them the things about himself in all the scriptures. As they came near the village to which they were going, he walked ahead as if he was going on. But they urged him strongly, saying, Stay with us, because it is almost evening, and the day is now nearly over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, blessed it, and broke it, and gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, and he vanished from their sight. They said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us when he was talking to us on the road, while he was opening the scriptures to us? That same hour they got up and returned to Jerusalem, and they found the eleven, of, uh, they found the eleven and their companions gathered together. They were saying, The Lord has risen indeed, and he has appeared to Simon. Then they told what had happened on the road, and how he had been made known to them in the breaking of the bread. So that story is so interesting, because there they are, walking along the road, sad because Jesus is, is gone. And little did they know that Jesus was there walking with them. And then, as they sat and had a meal together, they realized who it really was, that it was Jesus resurrected from the dead, just as they had been told. So I think about the times that sometimes we are sad and unexpected things happen, and the way that God comes into our lives and helps us through difficult times. So I think we could all remember that. And there is even a special coloring page that I want to send you guys um, today. So in the description of this video, there's a link to our friends at Illustrated Ministry for a free download of a coloring page that maybe you could work on and share with us via pictures and emails or on Facebook or in the comments. So I hope you enjoyed this. Why don't we pray? Gracious God, thank you for this time together, and thank you for walking with us on the roads when we are sad and other times too. We ask that you always are with us and that you guide us each day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So long, friends. Mm -hmm.